lowborn peasant folk. This is a tale of youth in a village. It could be any village, really, by the sea. Three apprentices took their half-holiday together, old friends from childhood, and as youngsters will in order to magnify just how adult they are, they began to complain about the ardor of their work. One, the blacksmith's apprentice, said to his two fellows as they drank their small beer, sitting on a log outside, you know, the, the village green. My master, the blacksmith, all know his work, for without his work, who would have tools for their own work? Axe blades he makes and hammers, horseshoes and nails, and therein lies my undoing. Nail after nail after nail after nail. Do I get to touch a sword or a knife blade? No. Not even a hinge or a door latch. No, it's nails from dawn to dusk and dawn again. I must have made 5,000 nails. And still he comes to me and says, put that back in the fire and do it again. It's not straight enough. Make me another 10 dozen nails. I've become the small apprentice that I am, the master of the nails. The Brad, the Spike, I am the master of the nail. And his friends wagged their still sparse chins and commiserated. And his next friend said, Yeah, you all know my master, the carpenter. He does beautiful, fine work in the evenings, all beautifully chased with relief work, and everybody from miles around. He's even done commission for the Baron. He makes furniture for people's houses, smooth tables and rocking chairs. And he even does framing work, and, and he says next year I'll be on the roof with him. But for now, he has me making shingles, just slicing shingle after shingle after I feel like I have shingles, after <laughs> shingle after shingle. Can I hang out my shingle yet? I, oh, I do nothing but shingles all day until I see them in my sleep. The only break I have from shingles are splinters. And his two friends commiserate. And they offer him a little bit more small beer. And then the third boy, perhaps a bit slow, says, Yep, I know what you're talking about. My master, the fisherman, we've been mending nets and winding through your, uh, um, the fishing line. But the most thing when we go out in the boat after all the time I've spent scraping barnacles and everything, when we go out in the boat, what does he have me doing? Baiting hooks. Baiting hooks. Baiting hooks. Until I'm sleeping and dreaming baiting hooks. I've become the master. And at that, his two friends pushed him off the log. <laughs>